so guys today's topic will continue with health monitor because there are few more topics in health monitor which we'll discuss then we will go with profile section so every topic is equivalent important with others so what we discussed on that day was why we need an health monitor what is the use case why it is important and what are the types of monitors so we discussed on that day there are two types we discussed address check and service check so these are the two monitors which we discussed on that day now continuing to this there is one more health monitor which comes under layer 7 which checks your ip address also plus it will check your service also but it is beyond that it will check for your content it is called http monitor so when you go to monitor list and when you go to pool or pool member you can see tcp icmp and one monitor you will see that is called http so what is that and what it will check like in tcp we checked like it is checking whether service is listening on that port or not that we checked right now what it will check in http that is also important guide so once your tcp connection is established like handshake is done there is http get which will, which will be sent so what happens let's say i have a website called cnets.com <clears throat> in cnets.com i need to check one directory called index.html i want to check whether this page exists in this website or not so that is called a string in that so it is checking your content because sometimes what happens in your website there are some important content which you need to make sure if someone delete let's say in application owner it is not your task you just need to apply it but they need to confirm what are the important strings you want to configure so there are two strings one is called send string that i will show you one is called receive string so send string is something that you want f5 to check and receive string is if it is successful then your member will be up so in receive string that's say i am given 200 okay if i say get let's say get get is something which you want to retrieve something from server let's say i give get index.html from this server ip so if this page exists in your server then your response will be 200 okay if response string or receive string is 200 okay means your server will be up if that page it does not find so it will give like 400 for error or something that this page is not found so what i have given in receive string is 200 okay if f5 get this page it should return 200 okay if i don't get 200 okay other than this res response or receive string if i get any other code in that case f5 will mark it down so it is it will check not respond also port listening also but it will check for content also so how it will check is i will show you so that you can get practically experience on that so i'll go to my f5 you can open it if you want but you can do labs after the class notation from now onwards you can do the class labs after my class or monday to friday that would be helpful for you because everything which i am teaching is 
equally important. If you go with my lab, then it is difficult. So what you will go it? You will go to monitor. Can you see HTTP? So there are two types of monitor. These are called default monitor. Very, very important. And I would always suggest don't change anything in default monitor. If you want to change anything in monitor, you need to configure custom. Because F5 says that never change default monitor. Why? Anyone can tell me why you don't you don't change default monitor settings. So when I go to HTTP, this is called default monitor. This you cannot delete. So this is the default monitor. F5 recommended that you never change settings on this. If you want to change any interval time, timeout time, or you want to customize this send string and receive string based on application owner. So F5 says that you always configure custom monitor. Very important interview question. Why I want to change default? Why I don't want to change it? So let's say I have server one, server two, server three, server four, server five, server six. Now let's say this HTTP default monitor is called here. HTTP 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 monitor is already called default. Now, application owner says that I want to apply custom HTTP here. Or what it will say, they don't know custom. They will say, I want to change some settings in default. So if I change here settings, what it will do? It will impact settings of this also. Because if I change settings of here, the same settings will be applied on all servers. If I change default things, it will change for whatever server default HTTP monitor is applied. But if I make a custom HTTP monitor and apply on particular pool or server, it will apply on that. Because this default HTTP can monitor can be called in hundred pools. But I want to change settings for particular server or particular pool. In that case, I will always use custom monitor, guys. That is why please remember not never, never change that. It will really impact other settings and it is not preferable. I also don't recommend it. So how I can change. So how you can check what are the default monitor. These are your default monitor around 14. And here this you can also not delete. Can you see? I cannot delete it. Now how to create custom monitor. So you need to go to create. I will say HTTP custom. Now I will say type, which type? Is it HTTP, ICMP, TCP? So I am working on HTTP. Now here it is important. We will work on this send and string, receive string only. Because this is important. Here you will tell what F5 to check and in receive string what I should get from the server. It's like response of your server. Okay. So first of all, what I will show you, I'll go to my Windows XP. I will have my computers. In my computer, I'll go to local disk. Can you see XAMPP server here? In XAMPP server, there is one file called htdocs. And this index.html is there. And this is my receive string, guys. If I don't get anything from this string, 
let's say in response string, I will configure four here other than these four strings. This is one string, this is one string. But I am giving a response string something other than this. Okay. So let's see what will happen. And my get page. So in get, what I will give just, hey, I want to retry, I want to check whether index.html page is configured or not. That's it. This slash r slash in is you need to keep it. This is representing your end of line. You don't change this. This is how HTTP send string is built. You just need to type here, which page you want to check. So I want to check whether someone deleted this page or not, or this page exists on my server. So what is sending is I am sending get request. Get request means one connection to your server to retrieve get means to retrieve to get some page from server so i'm saying that to please retrieve this page from server which is the server server is windows xp so that's it you don't need to change other than this these two are very important in http Now what I will do, I have one pool of Windows XP. Here I have TCP. I'll select custom because if I select custom here, I it means I am applying to particular. If I change on default HTTP, then it would have applied on other servers also. So it is checking, it will check for status of your HTTP traffic by attempting to receive specific content. So HTTP monitor basically helps you to receive or to check. Rather than receive, you need to say to check specific content from a web page. Okay, so how the traffic flows? So I'll open up page. Right now I have given this. Let's wait some time. Meanwhile, I will draw a diagram for you. So I have an internet. I have F5. I have this server where this page is hosted. Index.html. This one is external. This one is internal. What will happen when HTTP monitor is applied? There will be first three way handshake. Syn packet will be sent from F5. Syn F will be sent from server to F5. It is TCP handshake. Before HTTP, TCP handshake is important. Acknowledgement. Now there will be a packet which is sent as HTTP get. So in HTTP monitor, what I have applied is, I am saying that receive string is I've given four, but in web page, when I open that web page, this four is not represent. So my server should be down. So this string which I am giving, it should be present in HTTP response. If it is not present, your server will be down. F5 will mark this server down. If it does not found correct HTTP response. So I send HTTP get and my server will send HTTP response. That is a simple meaning of content check monitor. It's very easy. And who will give this send and receive string? This is an headache of your server team or application owner. Simple. Your health monitor traffic is between F5 to the server. So first three way handshake is done. Then HTTP get and response. Okay. 
now what we will see we'll go further on i will go to my f5 now and we'll check it because it's basically totally on that path like i want to check particular content on my server whether that content is there or not that is simple so i will go downwards i'll go to my servers down now i'll go to members can you see why it is down can anyone tell me even when i go to putty i am able to ping this server but this is representing down why i'll go to my putty 137.200 root root so i am able to ping this even when i do telnet i am able to telnet but still it is down guys anyone even your server is up even your port is listening still my server is down what is the reason so how i can check there is a very important command in http like in tcp you check telnet in http how you check so i'll just increase this size so that you can in search say more okay now i will go here and how to check curl http this is the command to check what you are getting in receive string so can you see this if this is basically comes from server team but you can also troubleshoot what is the string i am getting receive string but what i have configured <coughs> what i have configured in http4 if i configure it like server here let me configure server now can anyone reply on the chat my server will come up or not quickly guys now when i am sending get packet i should receive this response because i have given receive string as server whether server will be up or not i need a quick answer that way from everyone on the chat whether my server will be up or not excellent guys let's see can you see green this is how easy it is you just remember three points in http it will open a connection tcp and check it will send a command that is called get string and it will examine a response simple three things you remember for http monitor it is also determine your availability of servers but it is also determine your appropriate content it will mark your pool member down if no successful response is found with the timeout settings so this is how it will mark your pool member up or down based on your response now if i give just for your purpose i can give any string 
this is also I can give. I'll give this. You can give any string. It will come up. Now just give us some time. I have configured this. Let's see whether it came up or not. Guys, why it's coming down? I have given this only. From this, I have given this only. But it's showing me down still. Anyone? Excellent. So you are good. Spelling mistake. What I have given is in HTTP this. I have given this. Can you see? T H I double -S, S. If I give this. Now will it come up? Let's see. Now, one question you might have, whether it's case sensitive or not, that also will do. I'll go to monitor. I'll go to, I'll mark here small letters. So what I will do is instead of this server in caps, I will mark SCRVR, small letters, to confirm whether it checks for case sensitive or not. Let's see. I always do lab. You will get it. Just give us because it takes time to mark it up or down. So even you give small or big letter, it does not matter. Your word should match. That's it. And how to check it? You need to type curl HTTP. That is how you can do it. Simple and important troubleshooting command to check HTTP monitor. Because this question will be asked in every interview, how you can check why your server is not coming up. So first you need to check your health monitor. Whether it's TCP, if it's TCP, you need to do telnet. If it's in HTTP, you can check using curl. That whatever response you are getting, that string is configured or not. So that is comes under your receive string. In ICPMP, you can check pink. An HTTP curl command. Okay. I will share you one article also which will help in production environment. Very important. I will share in WhatsApp group. So that you can check how you troubleshoot your health monitors in case of any issues. That is how it does in your HTTP. Okay, now what I will do is I'll go here. Another important health monitor, which is interactive check. So far, we have discussed three address check. See, in production environment, guys, most of the time you will see TCP and HTTP, 90% chances. People will use this as a health monitor. But somewhere people will use FTP also. That is comes under your interactive check. So here, what it will check guys, an interactive check or it can also say application check. Some people will say app 
interactive check. Some people will say application check monitor. So here it will check for content. It will check for node respondent port also, but it will also send multiple commands. So what it will do is first, it will have a TCP connection established, then a multiple commands will be sent. COMM ANDS commands. So what it first it will check first, it will have a TCP handshake since in neck acknowledgement, then in FTP, what it happens, you need to log in. You need to type user ID and password. That is one command. After that, where you need to go, you need, it will go to, you need to navigate to specific directory. And then you download a specific file. That is how your FTP monitors works. Why FTP is used anyone guys? Why FTP is used? Just a basic question. What is the purpose of FTP server? Excellent file transfer in file transfer. What do you do? First you enter user ID and password. Then you get a file, right? Let's say I need, I have two laptops or I have a server and client. I need to get at that, uh, file from that server. How you can do, you can do FTP. So I need to get particular file from a particular directly. Let's say in where temp I have file called with it dot php this is my server one and i am in my laptop so i will do ftp colon colon my server ip then it will ask for user id and password <coughs> then it will navigate to directory i will also say with it dot HTML. So that is where you need to retrieve it that I uh, you need to type directory name also. So that is where FTP interactive check works. Okay, guys. So that is how this works so how i can do it let's go further on passive monitor i will talk next before that let's talk about application check an example of application check is ftp first let's see this server has ftp or not so guys for this you just go to this xp there is one ftp server This is server, but this IP is wrong here, guys. My IP is 10.2.33. So let me check whether I'm able to access this or not. Telnet 10.2.2.3321. Why I'm not able to connect? Even my server is up because here this server IP is wrong. How you can do? Just click here. 
if I start this server, this server will not come up. So you need to just double click, modify, here you need to give correct IP. What was my IP of my Windows 3321? Okay, okay. Now if I connect to check, can you see? My FTP server is ready. How I can give credentials? Just here. Select, can you just here, click here, this person user list. Just type plus or you can do one thing, you can just modify. Like this one, setup. Can you see admin? I will type password one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Now I will open up packet capture here. Just to show you what have, what is happening. Wireshark is already there. Wireshark is utility to capture what is happening in background. I will say start. I'll give some time stop. Now I'll search for FTP. I'm not getting any packet. Let me give some time more. So just give us now see guys, I got some traffic. I'll stop. FTP. So what is happening guys now? So I will show you. Here there is a request. So this IP is F5. So FTP is sending one request and response it's saying unknown command. Command not implemented. It's saying this as an error. Okay, I'll start again. I will initiate telnet traffic. Now it is giving me this. Now what I will do, because FTP monitor is not configured here, I will give FTP custom. Because that is why I am not receiving any traffic only, I am receiving this traffic. Because I have not configured right now, so I will configure first FTP here. Now here I will give username admin. I'll get password wrong here. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'll generate a traffic. I'll come back into putty. I'll disconnect. I'll say 192, 168, 137.200 root my password i'll just telnet 10.2.2.33.21 now let's see if i get any other traffic here i'll go here on my packet capture now 
it should show me i'll stop it i'll start it <coughs> Now, whether it is up or not, let's see. Still, I'm not receiving traffic because I have not configured in pool. I'll give one FTP pool. So that is how I'm showing you top specific. We have configured monitor, but I have not configured that port. So that's why F5 is not able to initiate the traffic. Now, if I select here, now it should show me. See, once I configured this, it's saying that it's connecting username, password, but password required. Password, I have typed this, permission denied. Very important, guys. Now it's showing me the correct troubleshooting. Can you see this? <clears throat> First, telnet, TCP and check is successful. Then F5 is trying to enter username admin but since password is not correct server is down i'll show you now if i configure here in monitor correct password what it will show you i'll configure the same password which is there in my server now you tell me whether my server will be up or not go to pool see here also it should be successful I'll start the traffic. Can you see guys? Username login. Okay, guys. Can you see very, very important? Your packet capture can show you what is the issue. Now, my one question to you all. Now it will FTP works on which port, guys? Anyone? FTP work on which port? Twenty and twenty one. That's great. Now, if you see here in F five in health monitor, there is a mode called passive and there is a mode called port. What does it mean? Anyone? Anyone can tell me difference between passive mode and port mode quickly, guys. Anyone can tell me this. What does it mean? Passive mode. So you just go here on help section. Just go here into mode. So passive mode, I'll just is which specify that F5 monitor will send a data transfer request to FTP server. This is called data transfer request. When the FTP server receives the request, F5 will initiate and establish data connection. <coughs> so there are two modes. One is passive mode and one is port mode. Here only data connection will be done. No data transfer will be done in passive mode your server establishment will also happen and data transfer will also happen that is the meaning of act you can say passive and port mode this question will be asked in every interview okay guys
so this now i have to give this path third point was first tcp handshake was done then you type your username and password then you need to type your directory here to check whether that file exists i want to retrieve that that you can configure here based on your server team so which port port 20 when i say port 20 whether that is active mode or passive mode when i say port 21 that is passive mode or active mode so when you choose active mode then it will be port 20. so there are two modes data channel mode data transfer mode So these were four health monitor, which were very, very important. And how it works, you will determine. Before continuing profile section, I wanted to check how many of you have done this 